everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. We've got our gel press and we're going to be using olive from our elements range. So we need our brayer. We've got our brushes at hand as well and we're going to create a really nice background. Let's start with our base colour. Transfer that lovely olive over onto the gel press. Now we want to keep the colours reasonably light, so I'm going to go with a nice green. So we want tiny little speckles of colour, we don't want too much. We've got moss green. And let's put a little bit of the Prussian blue in. And a little bit of pink. And let's see what we've got. So we've got some multifarious card. So I'm going to pop that down, give that a smooth over. Wow, and we have a lovely colourful background there. Now I'm reaching for the pan pastels because I'm going to stamp my silhouette stamp here. I want to make it a little bit lighter than what it is at the moment. So just by sweeping over that area, making it a little bit lighter, the silhouette will stand out so much more. I'm going to take the anti-static and just gently go over the top. And we've got our lovely fairy with a dandelion here. So inking her up now in the Nocturne. Just take your time inking up. Make sure that we get all that lovely detail. And we're going to pop her down round about there. Give that a good press down. And let the ink just soak in. You want to get a nice good impression with all that lovely detail. Let's have a look. And there we go. We need to ground her now so I'm going to pop a mask over her feet and then take in a stencil brush and the Blue Lagoon, I'm going to just sweep that over the top. And I'm going to just take that up a little bit. Just going around the edge now. of little mini stamps here and I'm going to use these for the foliage hanging down and going up. I'm going to take Glamorous now, this is from Versafine and I'm just going to ink up and then I'm going to do some nice hanging flourishes down. And let's go up as well. 
we need something a little bit darker still for there so let's go with some medieval blue And just by surrounding her with some lovely foliage, you just your eyes been pulled into the centre there. Let's just change our foliage now. Another colour. Let's go with rainforest. I'm going to stamp off first. Okay, so lastly I'm going to bring in a little bit more colour into the corners. This is Mulberry from our Elements range. And I'm just using my stencil brush. I've got one of our Secura gel pens here. This is a glitter one and I'm just going over her wings. I don't know if you can see that there. And that really does pull the wings out, just that little bit of subtle glitter. So using my Posca pen now, I'm going to just dot down, following the foliage. And lastly, I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter. I think we'll go with this one, the mermaid. I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. dandelion fairy. Hope you can see the glitter. Just hold it in the light there and her lovely wing that we've used the Secura pen on. Well thanks so much for joining me again today guys. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. Bye for now.